Um, I started to say, we have this young man in my district, he was, he's in automotive school now, but in seventh grade was finally diagnosed. He was a Connecticut boy his whole life, and we missed it. And um, I just wanted to read a couple things he said to us. He said, I see things mechanically. Ask me to read an English textbook and write a paper on it, and I'll just give you a blank stare. But tell me to open the hood of a car and tear down the engine. Now that's easy. Words on a page look like gibberish. They bounce around in my head, and I can't always make out what they are. But when I look at an engine, I can see how not only what you, what you see, I see the internal parts of working together, gas and air flowing through the engine. This is a young man who will be a success, who came up to testify. And I think what he said was he didn't want other children in our, in our state to go through that. And I think the part that we have that's professional training for our newest teachers, um, to help them identify this early and, ask, and, and to teach them what to do about it. We talked a couple of years ago about third grade reading scores, and I don't ever remember this being part of the conversation, and it should have been. But now it is, and, and I stand in, in support of this bill, the whole bill, and the amended portion of the bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.